hi guys welcome back to our youtube channel if you are new here you are most welcome and of course to all our returning subscribers you are most welcome thank you so much for supporting value farm we are back at the farm and of course you guys really love these farm videos and you get so much knowledge on these farm videos you know we are not really selfish sharing all the knowledge with the farm and showing you our progress and also answering all your questions that you always ask in the comments so today Definitely, this is one of the questions someone really asked me that, how am I going to benefit from the pigs? So today we are going to tell you how you can make money from pig farming. Yes, that is the topic of the day. And of course, other questions will come in between there as we talk, we discuss the topic with Mr. Charles and you know what ex how you can benefit and also how you can do well with piggery. So definitely, this is our pig star. So I'm definitely going to get inside there. Mr. Charles is already playing with the pigs and also enjoying himself like as usual that's for how he does every day like he goes inside there plays with the pigs makes them happy that's why you find that all the pigs are really very very friendly when you enter they always want you to tap them so that's how we treat them they're like our own people like they're so friendly so let's just get inside the pig star so that you can see how the pigs are right now from the previous video i know you're going to definitely see a difference on their look on the size as well so let's just get inside so that i can show you what's really happening right here mr charles is already inside enjoying himself so it's time for me to also go and enjoy myself with the pigs right here come along with me hello mr charles how are you I'm seeing you enjoying yourself. This yes, <laughs> I'm greeting my pig. You're greeting the pig. How are you, my pig? <laughs> they love to be tapped. Wow. So, Mr. Charles, I think I should give you the microphone since you're the one going to talk more. So, let me give you the microphone. Yes. So, how is how is the going? The going is fine. It's gold. Oh, my God. Sorry about that. Wow. How are the pigs so far? The pigs are very good, very mm. nice. They are enjoying. Mm. This uh, IMO, mm. you know, this natural deep bed is very, very good for the pigs. For the pigs, yes. Wow. They keep on playing about, playing around, mm. and they enjoy it. They enjoy everything. Yes. Wow, that is really nice. I can see they're really enjoying everything. Yep. Just to talk about like maintaining this this pig star. How do you maintain it? Let's yeah. talk about maintaining it first. Actually, we have to mm. clean it every day. Okay. to come and make sure that it is clean because once it's not clean mm. uh, they can get inf infected. Uh, infected and then get certain disease mm. mostly costiosis exactly. which comes from that and then it becomes terrible and you know it's very expensive to treat to pigs, treat pigs yeah. so but once you are clean mm. you may take months and months without treating the pigs okay. other than giving them vitamins mm. and at times at their particular time deworming them deworming them yeah wow. and deworming these ones mm. it's very easy because we do it twice a year and that's okay. all yes wow that is really amazing yep. how about like changing the this food shavings how often do we do uh that? no this wood shaving can go up to six months six months yeah you just clean where you see lily which is uh, in a bad shape mm. and you add on more uh sawdust mm. and then you go and on. That is it. So do you spray the IMO liquid exactly, all the time? Exactly. Exa not not all the time. Okay. But at least uh, at least every two days. Every two days. Uh, that is three times a week. Okay. Yeah. That is really nice. To avoid bad odor mm. and uh, and and flies, by the way. And the flies, flies. Mm. guys. That's when why you come see, to yeah? this place, there yeah. are no flies. It's not even smelling. You can even bring your plate of food and eat from here, by the way, because it's not really smelling at all. And you see yeah. these few flies you see here mm. do come from our neighbors because they are grazing their cows their over cows, there. Yeah. Yes, and so. they're even outside. They mm. don't really come inside exactly. so much. So, mm. yeah. That's why you have these few, at least these, these few, few here. Mm. Wow. Oh, my friend. How are you? <laughs> this one wants mm. to be tapped. Wow. So, Mr. Charles, there's one major question that people ask, like, how do you really benefit from pig area? How can you benefit faster? Like, how can you make money from pig farming? For yeah. those ones who want to really start. You know, that's really a very, very bracket word, mm. which involves a lot of things which one should do cater for yes. in order to make 
business to make money mm. out of these pigs. Yes. These pigs can give you money within a very short time. Okay. For example, now if this one, this one uh, is uh, to follow and it follows about to uh, 12 liters, piglets. yes, mm. big piglets, mm. and then within another, um, it takes two months, okay. and then it can again be serviced, be serviced, and then, so in a year you can get about, <laughs> oh, uh, you are not a friend to <laughs> her, eh? huh? you see? <laughs> She got scared. Don't mind, my friend. I'm really sorry, man. Come, 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 my friend. Come. You see now, mm. he's a, she's afraid. Okay, oh no God. problem. Oh my God. Mm. So, Mr. Charles, you're still telling us yeah. like how to benefit faster. Yeah. Or First money. of all, mm. you have to look for a very good breed. Okay. And I would say the best breed mm. we have, there is Durak. Okay. There is a uh, Amshia. Okay. There is a land race, okay. there is a large white, and a Poland China. But Poland China is not, not so common. common. It's not common here in Uganda, mm. but it's so, so good. Wow. Yeah, so, so good. So here, we, mostly we have Durak, land race, large white, mm. and uh, Amshia, and the, and the local ones. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm going back to, to go back to your yes, question. Yes, yes. But uh, I was trying to try to explain, yes, uh, yes. to give a, a big, picture. Yeah, big picture. Like now, if you have got a, a good breed of these local pigs, mm. and you have got uh, uh, Amshia mm. male, my dear, you are going to get a, a very special breed. Are you see my friend has come back. Coming oh, back. Please, oh, who no, disturbed sorry. you? Hmm? <laughs> I'm mean, here. Who disturbed you? Sit here. Oh sit. Okay. God. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Okay. Good. Good. Be here. Don't mind. No one is going to disturb you. No one should touch you. Okay. Sleep. Mm -hmm. So, uh, back to your question. Yes, please. Let us not waste time. Mm. Because I know viewers want to know to ABCD. Know what, yes. You want to get money out of pigs. Pigs, yes. Get a good breed. Yes. For example, get landless. Okay. To know about landers quickly, eh, mm. it is uh, big enough mm. and landless has the ears. Eh? They almost ca they come and almost close the eyes okay. somehow. Yes. Okay. Now you see some of uh, ours here. Mm. They are some are large white. Eh? Yes, now please. these ones you see, eh? mm. they are large white. They are not exactly. And now you see the, like that one which yes, is sleeping. Please, yes. When you see they are elected, they are elected up like this, eh? Mm. Those are large white. Okay. Yeah. But not like this. Oh my friend, you are disturbing me. Okay. Okay. Good, good. Okay. Sleep, sleep. Hmm? Sleep. And this is the best friend of mine. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. now uh, when you get landless, yes. you can go to people with the landless, mm. uh, you can go to farms. By the way, go to farms because okay. at the farm, you can get your breed because okay. for them, they have uh, records. Yes. Rather than going to these villagers, mm. even they don't know what they are keeping, maybe so you may know that this is this, but mm. for them, the, what they are after is to have a pig around. Yes, please. So, landless, mm. uh, large white, mm -hmm. as I told you, large white, the ears are elect, mm. landless, they are a bit almost They're closing, uh -huh. and the uh, Amshia, that one, usually it is uh, uh, black mm. with a belt from the back, goes around the chest up to the front legs. Wow. Exactly. So the other king of ours here yes, came from Hampshire mm. with uh, large, la, no, 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 large white. Large white. Okay. Uh, you see how it looks like, and that's why you see it is be. It's not really so much uh, indigenous one. Yeah, it yeah. Is it's not. almost a uh, exotic one. Yeah, the way it so behaves, good. whatever, mm. because the the percentage of the Hampshire mm. is more. More than exactly. The, the light white. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. But it seems you are also a farmer because I'm you. I'm a farmer. Huh? I'm, you're farmer. Learning. I'm learning okay. from you, Charles. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Charles, I've learned so much eh? from you, and of course, I also do so much research. Because I see how you complete my my Your sentences. sentences. <laughs> <laughs> 
tells I that do shows a that really yes. you are also competent. Yes, I'm competent. Uh, yes, uh, I never had the experience, but at least now I have experience. I watch more of Figari. I want also to know more. And of course, from what we always discuss from here, definitely I have. I'm also learning so much yeah. as well. And now. Back to the question. Yes. If you want to get money out of these pigs, yeah. don't think big, but start small. Yes, please. You can. And by the way, don't buy a male immediately mm -hmm. if your pocket is not okay. okay. You just buy female, mm -hmm. but spot where you can get a good... A good boa. Uh, exactly. Mm. So once you know that Sunday saw like mm. a value farm, mm. they have got a good boa, yeah. you have your... Uh, souls, yes, then bring them at the particular time mm. because you know they are to come yes, to the to boa, not the boa to be taken there. Exactly. The boa is a king, is a king. yes, so you uh, allowed to take your exactly. souls. Exactly, as long boa. as they mm. are in good shape mm. regarding health, mm. they don't have any disease mm. to bring a disease to the farm. To the farm. Once, uh, and it's better even to use a vet doctor mm. to inspect them to okay. check them. Mm. And if he sees that he, or she sees that they are okay, mm. then you can take to one of the farm okay. and then be serviced okay. and then take them back. Okay. You know, keeping a boa on, uh, at your small farm yeah. is very expensive. Why? Yeah, because it eats. Yeah, it eats and more than that. Exactly, so. and you spend a lot on it, on that, uh, on that boa. Okay. Actually, you could have a boa if you have got 10 mm. female. Okay. At least you can have a boa. Okay, if you have five and you know you are keeping on uh, multiplying your pigs, mm. you can you can have a boa on mm. your small. Okay. Yes. Like us here, we need let me say about two, two to three boas. Two only. boas only. Yeah, and exactly. Yeah. Because if we have Durak, we have uh Amshia, yes, uh landless, maybe four. Yes. Landless and the large white. Go to Boaz. You are British. Yes, like exactly. Mm. That's enough for us here. Mm. And we so yes. And what you have to know, this the first liter can be of eight piglets. Mm. From eight to ten. Mm. You see? So now, and that one comes after 114 days. Okay. And you get, you mm. see, my friend has come back. <laughs> okay, sleep there. Don't be disturbed, okay? Mm. And then you start getting money. Mm. And when you want to get money, this is also a secret. Mm. Try to know what do you want to carry on. Mm. Do you want to sell piglets? Okay. Do you want to sell growers? Mm -hmm. Do you want to sell finishers? Okay. What do you want exactly? To sell. You know, I have mm. some friends of mine. Mm. For them, they are just selling piglets. Only. And they get a lot of money. Oh, Each wow. piglet, 200,000 shillings. 300,000 shillings. Depending uh, on the breed. Exactly. Now imagine if you have got 30, 30 of them. 30 uh, souls, mm. eh? which, wow. we, which are going to follow mm. at time again, time again, time again. Mm. And we're just, and it's all booked. Mm. Eh? You see the book mm. uh, when it is still expecting. Still expecting exactly. True. Yeah. And one said, please, I need 10. I need 10. I need yes. 20 to take to my farm. As and long as you have a good boa. Exactly. So, how can you determine a good, a good boa? A good boa, first of all, it must have the back mm. should be flat, flat, should be leveled. Okay. Eh? That's a very good boa. Okay. And its testicles mm. behind mm. should be big enough outside, huge. not here, yeah, huge, not inside, not inside mm. you see. And the legs okay. should be straight and uh, a, a, a bit high, uh, firm and a bit high. Uh, have not, not, such not, a boa here. Exactly. And not, mm. sure, not they are just they are down uh, that they are, side. Yes. You have very good boas Exactly. Here. So mm. that now you can know that that one can really make a good job. That is true. Exactly. Wow. Yeah. But this back flat should one. be flat, should be leveled. Mm. No, 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 no. Sleep, 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 sleep. Mm. Mm. You see? Wow. That's yeah. how we determine. Exactly. So now when, when, why do you think someone should decide on selling piglets? Why would someone decide on selling maybe the the growers, the growers? or the finisher? Yes. Uh, what you is know, the difference there? So that people can have an idea that, okay, when I focus more on piglets, it will get me more money. If I focus more maybe on the growers, maybe I can sell to the pokers. I can sell people who want the pork. And when do you even decide that I want to sell to the people, the, the pork joints? Uh, what I would say is this. Mm. 
answering your question. Yes. Selling piglets, if you specialize selling piglets, yes. and you have got a good breed, mm -hmm. my dear, you make a lot of money with no time. With piglets. Yes. First of all, mm -hmm. when you go to your accounts, mm. you spend less. True. You know, feeding a piglet mm. to the stage of grower, grower. to the stage of uh, finisher. finisher, my dear, it's that expensive. is, that, but then that's all money. Exactly. Eh? exactly. I think you know very well how much money you have spent today okay. bringing <laughs> feeds of for this, for the, for for this exactly. Yeah, that eh? is so true. Uh -huh. And of course that video is coming up when they are going to mix everything because you guys ex requested for it. So we shall definitely, because at least now I have the prices and I have the amounts that we brought. So that video is coming up. So Mr. Charles, continue. Uh, and I think uh, since you want to take that one when we are mixing, mm. let us schedule it on Monday. Monday. Okay. Will you be around on Monday? Will you be able to make it? Tuesday. Tuesday. Tuesday so is okay for me. We make it on Tuesday. Yes. Okay. So tomorrow we are going to mix very little, very little. for them to feed on. Okay. The rest we shall do it when on you Tuesday. are around so that yes. you can. Tuesday is okay. Very good. Okay, so that they can also see, we'll see uh, the whole process. and they learn from that. Yes. Okay. Thank you so much, Mr. Okay. Charles. So now when you sell piglets, mm. you know piglets take one month mm -hmm. uh, feeding yes, on, the, yes. on, on the on the on the teeth of mm. the uh, uh, of the mothers. Of the mothers eh? mm. uh, so by selling piglets after a month, mm. you can start selling. Or one and a half months. Or you can help them because if it is wind at two months, mm. so much the better. Yes. Yeah, and there they can give you something like a uh, four hundred thousand shillings. Yes. One piglet. One piglet. And you can see how you make money. A lot of money out of it. Exactly. Wow. And mind you, after one week, mm. again, it it can get pregnant. It, yeah, it can be serviced. After yeah. one week, yeah. after giving back. Yeah. No, after we after, after we after winning. winning. Oh. Yeah, after winning. Yeah, after winning. My dear, it can do it. It can be serviced again, yes. and then after 114 days, 114 days. That is, I don't know. God made it. Mm. It is three months, mm. three weeks, mm -hmm. and three days. Wow! And once you add everything, mm. it is 114. And 14 days. But at mm. times, mm. it's like human beings. Human beings can go from nine months and they go to nine and a half, something yeah, like that. True. Also, these ones can move from 114 days mm. to 116. Wow. If it goes beyond that, mm. there is something wrong. That is really wrong. Exactly. Wow. I don't know whether, okay. And then when you go to growers, to growers you want to sell growers. Mm. Yes, but what you have to do is this. Mm. Feed them very well, mm -hmm. so much so that they are Life weight is really reasonable, yes. is good enough, yes. and their carcass weight is really good, good enough. To enough to get out to, to get out your money yes. which you invested in and get also a profit because you have to get maximum profit. Yes, and for the us carcass here, weight is the weight after slaughter. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. So it's for the dead meat. Eh? Yes. When it is slaughtered, that is the carcass weight. Yes. yes. Wow. So feeding is is the most thing that you need to focus on. That's why you see, for example, when I'm measuring them, mm. I can measure the live weight. Mm. And when I want to notice the carcass weight, mm. I multiply the live weight by 75, I mean 72%. Yes. And then I will know at How least much? once it is slaughtered, mm. the estimated carcass weight. Uh, so if the buyer comes here, cannot just cheat me. No, cheat I can just tell him or her, I need such amount of money. Yes. Either you pay or you show me your yes. back. <laughs> <laughs> Show me your back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That is so true. You have to be very, be very focused when you're when you're when you're rearing pigs because you have to know. You have to do your research as well and also learn more because there's a lot of science in these things. Like the live weight, you have to know the live weight of your pigs. You have to also measure them before you sell them off so that you don't get cheated, guys. So that's how it is. Then also another thing that someone asked a question that I asked you earlier on, maybe for your for the benefit of the people who aren't here, mm -hmm. maybe like how do you know that your your soul has been serviced and is pregnant? Oh, that's very good. Yes. Now, first of all, we watch our soul all the time. Yes. To inspect, to know, are they on heat? 
mm-hmm. or not on heat. You because you see, heat? they stay here alone without the king. Without the the king has to be there. Alone. In uh, <laughs> let me say, I, I wouldn't use the palace because the palace is for our kabaka. Exactly. But uh, there in his cubicle, yes, enjoying true. himself just there, true. being fed from there. True. Now here, you look at this pig mm. behind. Yes. It becomes a bit uh, big. Yes. Eh? Its private part mm. becomes big, big and huge yes. and uh, reddish. Yes. Or, yeah, reddish, something like that. Or mm. purplish, like that. Something okay. like that. Yes. yes. Yeah, it but it, it becomes huge. Huge. Even. Yeah, and huge. It comes out very huge. Mm. So then you have to know that. It needs, it needs to a be boa, serviced. exactly. Mm. So, and by the way, once you open the door, mm. it will just come out nicely and lead you where the, the boa yeah, is. they have got their instincts. Okay. Yeah, and you will wow. open up, you will open up the door mm. to the boa's cubicle or penny, and it will just enter, just enter exactly. Get service, so, but now how will you know? Do they uh, immediately or at times? Time? At times it takes time. Okay. It may take even a day or okay. two days. Okay. Yes. All at times, there and then mm. it is serviced. But you can also leave it there and be serviced about two, two or three times. Okay. But once it's a good boa, even once, once is, is okay. okay. And some on some farms, and that's what we are going to do here yes, uh, yes. on our uh, permanent, permanent structure. structure, you put your CCTV cameras. Yes. Mm-hmm. So they will take, because you have no time to be there watching, watching, what are you watching for, my dear? You have, uh, as if yes. you don't have another work to do. do. Yeah. So your CCTV will just show you that at a particular time, a particular date, this one was service. What you have to do is to record its name or her name yes. and the name of the boa. You put everything in your, uh, in, your uh, in your data, mm. database, production data. Yes, please. And what you have to know, you see there are so many here yes. and we are still getting more. Each oh. one should have a page. Yes. Each one should have a page have so that page. when you go to uh, so number 12, you have everything. All the details. Ah, exactly. Even when you even when you are going to sell, you will know that these piglets yeah. are from this, this one. one. Yes. Exactly. Wow. So you don't mix up breeds. Yes. Yeah. So you need to know, like, how do you calculate how long does it from from getting pregnant to farrowing? Yeah. How long does it take? It takes three months, three weeks, and uh, two three days. That's 114 14 days. days. And if you have really recorded very well, you have exact. to know that today, whether you like or not, it has to follow. Even you can be just there watching and it starts. Wow. But when it starts, you have to be to be watchful. Okay. And it's good to know when your soul is to, uh, follow. to follow. Because you know each piglet comes, comes with its... Uh, suck okay. and that suck should be removed immediately oh. otherwise it may eat it, it. Uh, mm. uh, yeah and once it eats mm. it eats those sacks eh? mm. uh, then uh, maybe is it called i don't know the technical is, is it like a placenta something i don't i think it's it a placenta yeah, yeah, yeah something placenta, uh-huh, yeah good. yeah uh-huh. so mm. it will even lose uh, even milk. No milk, milk, yeah. It oh, cannot bre- uh, breast, uh, breast yes, feed there. So yeah, exactly. That even so. happens with the cows, I think. Ah, exactly. When they, they I, I, and even goats. Goats, yeah. yeah. When they mm. eat their own placenta, exactly. the milk ah, is lost. That's the end of it. Wow. And Thank then, you so much, Mr. Charles. Yeah. I think at least we've answered most of the questions that I've been receiving from everyone. So in case you have your questions, definitely leave them in the comments or write to me direct when you've compiled them so that we can and we can answer i've realized i've got questions that we have already done videos with so i would recommend anyone in before you send your questions at least check through the playlist check through if we have not done or discussed some of the topics because they repeated they repeat the same same questions all Mm -hmm. the time Mm -hmm. at least go and watch other videos because they're very informative they're all there if you watch the video from the beginning to the end you'll definitely get all the information that you need about piggery, about pig farming and all that. Most especially people have been asking about the IMO. We've talked about it so many times, but of course, when we go to the permanent structure, we shall definitely do step by step. 
of the perman of the IMO how it is done so that you can really see because we just discussed and just gave you an idea here. But we shall definitely do that from the other structure that is going to be coming up, the permanent one, so that you can know. So subscribe and also turn on your notification bells so that you don't miss out on any videos. So Mr. Charles, maybe the last words for people who want to benefit more on Pigari. What is your advice? My advice is this. Mm. Let them decide. Mm -hmm. Let them be determined mm -hmm. and let them be hardworking okay. and let them be patient. Okay. You know, patience pays. pays. Exactly. But pains. Yeah. <laughs> but also let them be ready to invest. invest. You know, there are some people who want to live. But they don't want to sow. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. So at least you need to invest. Everything that you want to benefit from, you have to invest at least something, especially like the feeds. Like the feed is quite expensive to be very sure about it. But at least if you feed them well, you benefit at the long run. Yes. Yes, that's how it is. Thank you exactly. so much, Mr. Charles, and for your time. They okay? have to keep books. They have to keep their records. Yes, exactly. Bookkeeping. Yes. Simple bookkeeping. Exactly. It's very good. That will benefit you and you'll definitely be successful in pig farming. So big, big I mean bookkeeping is also necessary. So guys, that's what we had for you for this episode. Thank you so much. Please subscribe, like this video, and also leave your comment or anything you want to say in the comments down below. In case you have your inquiries, please leave them down below as well. I'll definitely leave them. I will definitely organize so that we always come here and discuss with Mr. Charles. For people who want consultations, as usual, just contact me with all your questions. And when you're ready, when we plan together, we shall definitely come to Mr. Charles so that we can ask everything that you wanted to consult from him. For farm visits, it's not yet ready. Still, I'll definitely announce on the, on the channel so that you can come and visit the farm. But that's basically what we had for you today. Please like the video, subscribe, and also share with your friends. Tell your friends. Tell a friend to tell a friend, guys. Till next time. Bye-bye.